So in this video, I'm going to be going over a, a, th a few things um, explaining um, LEDs, um, how to uh, see connected hardware. So if you look at the Arduino tab on the left hand side and you click on this area, we've got a section called My Hardware. Once you click on My Hardware, it will show you the uh, devices that you've got connected. If you've got more than one Arduino, or if you have only one and you want to see it displayed like this, click on multiple Arduinos and then scan for new devices. What it'll do then is further down here in this section, it will show you it's connected, the COM port uh, that it's connected to, so you can check in your devices or device manager if it says unrecognized. Sometimes when uh, the program has been set to the Arduino board, it's not always seen in SimHub. Um, when it's getting um, shared between computers for instance if I um, upload a, a sketch onto an Arduino board it'll work on my PC I then send it to a customer they then plug it in they'll say it's not working for some reason it's not got the drivers or it's not seeing the device so what I'll do is I'll leave a, a link in the description to the chipset drivers which is the CH341 uh, chips um, it's the drivers for it. If you download that from Google Drive um, and install it, it's like a, an EXE file. You just set, uh, click on the setup folder, follow the instructions. Uh, this will then allow you to have the correct devices. Um, it just happens sometimes, not all the time, but it does happen. So we'll then look at the LEDs. Um, a couple of people have said that when when they've received the flag or the LED bar, um, they're not sure how to, to, to use it or it might not be showing the green flag and things like that. So obviously I can just give you a quick rundown of what I've done here. So if you, if you don't see an effect like green flag or something like that, what you can do is click on this add effects section and as you come down here in the status LEDs and uh, so on, it'll say green flag on. Um, what you do is you click on this and add what that'll then do is it'll add this um, little uh, script here on uh, on the actual LED uh, folder. What you do is you open this up and you can assign it what LEDs you want it to show. So as you can see here, I've got LEDs 1 to 5, LEDs 2 to 8, but uh, sorry, start position 8 and there's two LEDs, start position 1, there's five LEDs. And the reason why I've done this is I have got a uh, 16 uh, LED WS2812 board, so it's a, a, a square um, rather than it being linear. So what I've actually done is in the middle I've got the four LEDs lighting up red for a shift light, but then I've used the perimeter for flags. So um, the green flag in Competizione um, will only light up around the outside. So then when if um, I'm racing, I can still use a shift light. Um, same for the blue flag and same for the yellow flag if you wanted to do it like that. But I've just got it for the green flag, um, mainly because it comes on whilst you're uh, doing a rolling start and things like that. Uh, so that's that's how you get the green flag on. If you're not sure if uh, the LEDs are working or you don't want to go into a game, there's an open test data editor here. Once you open this open test data editor, it will open up and it will show you that obviously, I'll just move this to the side. Ignore the fact that this is in a line. This is in a mate in in the square sixteen LEDs I have. These are the four central ones. And the way I've done that is um, obviously by opening the test data editor and assigning the LEDs, uh, the color and everything that I wanted. Um, and I've just got it basically as a shift light. So as I reach high RPM, it'll just light up red just to. Uh, to notify me when to change gear as I use a five inch screen that has a, a rev counter in it um, and a built in LED bar in that I preferred not to use that on this particular build that I've done at the moment so that's the e easiest way to describe uh, the shift light and the way I've done that is um, if you're not very sure on how to do a, a shift light I'll just open that back up actually because I've left it on and the LEDs are really bright in my face so what you do is you look up here and you'll see this when game is running tab, yellow flag, etc. So if you look at RPMs, I've set the RPMs I've set from uh, LED count for this for these two in start position 10, in red, 
in red and I've set the RPM limit minimum and maximum to the same so what happens then is it only works at 98% so as I get to 98% RPM limit then that's when the light comes on so literally just before I hit any limiter in any vehicle on any sim title that Simub covers which is up here any of these titles the shift light will work in all of them um, it's easy to do you can do this with the LED flags you can do it with the RPM bars you can do it with any of the WS2812 LED boards and then also I've set another one to start at start position 6 and I've got two so at start position 6 I've got two start position 10 I've got two so all together I've got a f four LEDs set so that would literally be six uh, position 6 and position 10 that way you get two on top two underneath and that's all I wanted you can have more you can have less you can customize it to exactly how you want but again 98% 98% RPM and then again that's how I've utilize my flag as a shift light as well um so that that basically covers um the led side of things if you're wanting to um change the rpms you can add uh a, a comp ignore the 98 percent as a shift light if you just want the leds you can set uh four different ones you could have maybe yellow green blue and red so that you can set them individually so you'd have uh, one to four uh five to ten etc in the different colors um, and then you can also you can fully customize them exactly how you like um, it's it's really really quite simple to do once you get your head around it obviously you can change the brightness up here uh, to exactly how bright you want them but yeah that's just a, a quick basic rundown on how the leds work within uh, sim hub um, i've done another video called sim hub guide which is um, a little bit older um, but it does still cover quite a lot of things on screens, um, on on you know how all this sort of thing works, um, reading all the information, how you can see your CPU temps when you're in idle, the day, etc. There's there's so much you can do with this software, um, and if you haven't already, um, contribute to whatever and get a licensed version. Um, this software, to say that you can use it in a donated version, you don't have to pay a, pay for it is unbelievable because of the capabilities it's got um you know just using it for shake it base shakers um which i've got for a butt kicker um you can use it for so much screens dash studio to display all the information on five inch screens um obviously you can have it displaying so much information when it comes to racing um, there's so many dashboards available from race department um, what I think I'm going to do one of the days is create a folder on Google Drive and share all my files um, some of the ones I've made some of them um, I've, I've just made basic dashboards like this one here where it's just a trap map uh, speed and gear um, for when you're in cars that you don't really need that much information if you're just doing sort of track day things um obviously like genetic side things I, i've made a helicorsa even though it's not helicorsa it's just so i know what it is i've made this um so it's it's like a car radar but then i can uh display it on my screen or i can display it as in windowed mode as a second window so if i'm in say Auto blister 2 uh you can have a car radar display next to your mirror so you can just look up and um you can see vehicles around you which just does help there's the the list endless what you can do with this um software really it's really really good um but i just wanted to go over them basic points today about the leds and about how people are, uh, are struggling with things uh not seeing the uh, connected sign if it says not connected in red obviously this means it's not seen it's been seen before but it's not currently seeing it in the detected hardware section um which is down here um telling you exactly what it is so yeah if if you if you bought um a gear pod from me or anything like that these these is um the matrix rotations this is how you change the um the actual rotation of the display if you want to mount it upside down or from the side you can change the font obviously the refresh speed again the list goes on and on with this software you you can do so much with it but if you are getting um if you aren't new to simub should i say and you are struggling then drop me a message um and i'll try and help you the best i can i try and help everybody the best i can um it's it's 
very very good simple software once you get used to it it's just initially not knowing exactly what to do it all it's all very oh i don't understand what's going on but it really is it, you've just got to play with it that's all i did uh, when i first um used simul for the first time which was about nearly four years ago um i didn't have a clue i i was totally oblivious so i started testing and trying things and playing different you know different things and it, it you you the more you play with it, the more you use it, the more you realise how good it is. Uh, you know, there's all these different things you can do within settings. Start it with Windows, run as administrator, start minimised. Again, just keep playing with it. If you need any help or you're, you're struggling, just, just drop me a message and I'll try and help you the best I can.